Hi everyone, Dan Julian here, nurse practitioner for Dan Aesthetics Medical and our clinic is located here in Ottawa, Canada. And after finishing this video, you will understand the differences between hyaluronic acid, Sculptra and Radius fillers. Let's go. All right, so let's break it down into three categories. Hyaluronic acid is designed to restore volume. Basically, if you've lost volume or if you wanna recreate the illusion of a bone by adding volume, then hyaluronic acid is perfect for that. Sculptra is designed to produce collagen. And as a result, it is going to produce a little bit of volume, but it's not designed as a volumizing filler. It's actually designed to produce collagen. And over time, if you're doing repeated treatments, then you can get a little bit of volume out of it. And then finally, Radius is kind of like a combination of the two. So let's dive deeper into each. All right, so what separates hyaluronic acid from the other two is that there's a whole wide range of products in these lines from very thin to very thick. And this is all about the cross-linking. So cross-linking is just what's holding this gel together. For example, if you buy hyaluronic acid on the shelf for your skin, this is an uncross-linked HA. You put it on, it's like water, blends into the skin nicely, draws in water, it's great. But if you wanna keep it together as a gel, then it needs some type of cross-linking. And this is what every brand now has, a range of cross-linking in their product line to give you desired results needed for different areas on the face from very thin to very thick, and you can place it all over the face or even on the body. The other good thing about it is that it's reversible. So this product, let's say if you don't like the results or there's a medical emergency, which is you place the filler uh, accidentally into an artery or something like that, and it blocks it, then you can place an enzyme into that and it's going to dissolve it, which is... So Sculptra is poly L lactic acid. And it's the same stuff as most of the thread lifts that you see, which stimulate collagen as well. But this is in a powder form. And this powder form is in a vial. And what you do is you add saline or stale water to it, mix it up. And then after that, you draw it out and you can place it on the face wherever you want. What's interesting though, is that even when it's drawn out, it's still going to be watery. It's not going to have a gel-like substance. It goes in like water. And as a result, you're not gonna get any lifting abilities right away. What it does though, is that it stimulates collagen, which is a great thing. This is purely a biostimulator. And what you'll do is, for example, someone will come in and they'll say, listen, I want to thicken my skin a little bit. I want to have a little bit more firmness and I want to, you know, mature uh, gracefully. I don't want to look five years older, five years from now. What can I do? And how can I do that without, you know, looking done up? Sculpture is a great way to go. So the good news with Sculpture is that it's very safe. It's very watery, so the chances of occluding an artery are almost zero. We can never say zero because anytime you put anything into an artery, in theory, anything can happen, but it's much safer than any hyaluronic acid. The downside is that you can potentially get these little granules or little lumps with them, um, but it really does depend on the provider and if they know how to mix it and they know how to use it, then you shouldn't have to worry about that. But because of that small risk, we don't recommend placing it around the eyes or around the lips because the constant constriction of these muscles can increase the chances of having these uh, little lumps or granulomas. My name is Dan Julian and I'm a nurse practitioner for Dan Aesthetics Medical. And this is our clinic. And six months ago, we opened up and we already have a wait list. And I want to share that with you. My Patreon account is going to show you how to become an advanced injector. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to grow yourself on social media and market yourself. And if you want, we now have a shadowing opportunity for you to join me here for two days. Now Radius, which is calcium hydroxyapatite, and in my opinion, it's the perfect combination of both. So hyaluronic acid is like a gel, and it has very thin to very thick gels. Well, this gel is a very thick gel in Radius in the sense that it has the highest G prime. So it's the thickest gel that you can find as a filler. And it's great for creating jawlines and cheeks. Now in comparison to Sculptra, it's also a biostimulator in the sense that it's designed to produce collagen. So once your body absorbs all of this product, it is going to produce collagen, which is very cool. So you get the filling capacity of the HA filler, but you also get the collagen stimulation and production similarly to Sculptra. Now what's unique with Radius is that you can blend it down with saline 
and essentially use it for the same reasons you would for Sculptra. For example, once it's blended down, you wouldn't get the lifting power, but you get all the collagen stimulating benefits from it. So that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, take care of each other, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Take care.